Alright guys, welcome back, some shade fives on, I'm here in protection, um, cause I'm gonna be torch cutting, so it's on TIG, go down to cut, I'm gonna go 50 amps, So, just hook up a ground to that'll work. Anyway, let me show you what I got. <clears throat> so, I got this piece all cut. So, it's gonna sit right there. There's my lines. So it's going to sit in just like that. So, I marked it already. This black line is going to be cut out all the way around. And uh, I didn't really see anything under there that could catch on fire. So, I'm going to be quick with this. Get this done and... Uh, And uh, yeah, I'll be back. Show you what it looks like cut out. Obviously, I'll be wearing some gloves. So anyway, uh, I shouldn't have the music playing in the background, but all right, I'll be back. All right, guys, let me show you what I got. Just in case I get copyrighted, got the plasma cutter out. <clears throat> I'm gonna plasma cut quite a bit. I think I'm gonna eh, maybe I'll cut those with a grinding wheel. I got the plasma cutter out. I'll probably just zip through them real quick. Through those, through some other junk. Anyway, this is what I cut out right there. Sorry for the noise. But as you can see, it'll overhang so I can remove it. When I have to, there's the plasma cutter, the grinder, of course. Because if you don't have a grinder, you should never try to do any fab work. That's what I say. So I'm just going to mount this. These are just some sheet metal screws. I'm just going to sheet metal screw for now before I put any uh, anything on it. Actually, I might just uh, scuff up around the edge. Put some just some black paint on it so it won't rust just in case this project never happens. Um and then I'm gonna put that weather strip. So I'm gonna do all that right now today. Why not? So I'm just gonna mount this bracket into here and then go try to fit it to see, make sure I don't have to cut more out. If I gotta cut more out, I gotta cut more out. But I'm hoping I don't. Kinda hoping that uh the only thing is I might have to screw this through the existing fire, the floor pan right now. So anyway, let me go do that and I'll be right back. Sorry I don't show you guys this stuff, but it's kind of boring and tedious. All right, it's getting warm out here. Oh, the breeze feels good. So that's what we got. Floor pan installed. So that's the weather strip I ended up using so got everything in this little bracket for the four-wheel drive shifter chingus so I'm gonna go in and eat some eat a salad or something because I'm hungry and uh, and I'll be back out I'm gonna come out and uh, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but Project Crack Pipe's looking pretty sweet, if you ask me. So maybe I'll ask the kid and go wake up the kid and see if he can help me put the bed on. Dang! Oh, that was freaking wrapping right there. Anyway, all right, guys. Uh, that's it for that for the floor pan. This is the remnants of what I cut off for it 
So I did grind it all down along the edges, kind of like how I did here. And I painted it, put like two coats of primer slash paint, whatever, on there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, oh, wore out. Um, stuff just wore me out, I guess, probably because it's hot and I haven't eaten anything. And I don't know what time it is, so. Alright, uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you guys check out my last video up here. Subscribe over here. Subscribe down there. Hit the bell notification. Check out my boy, One England. I'm out. Later.